Welcome to Star 6 Minis. My name is Tian, and today I'll be showing you how I paint skin tones. To demonstrate how I paint skin tones, I chose Kingdom Death Monster Miniatures. KDM is a miniature board game where survivors are placed in a dark and cruel world with nothing but a loincloth to cover themselves and nothing but a piece of sharp stone to de defend themselves with. We've been playing for quite some time and I've only ever painted the Lonely Tree expansion set. So I thought this was the perfect time to paint up the starting survivors. Or at least the character we named Daniel the first time we played. I normally like to start my miniatures with a base coat of black because this works well with zenithal highlighting and any small details of the miniature that I can't reach will seem to be hidden uh, in occluded shadows rather than look unpainted. I chose not to do a zenithal highlight on this model because I'll be using quite a few layers of paint and the light source is so small I decided to paint it on with a brush. But I'll cover object source lighting in another video. I mixed a color called red oxide with a basic flesh tone. These are quite cheap paints and I use them because I figured out how to paint flesh with them. So I want to get a predictable result. If you want to know more about comparing cheaper hobby paints to more expensive ones, I'll link a video in the notes below. The flesh tone I'm aiming for is a dark red tone to stress the darkness of the world this character finds himself in, but to also insinuate the cruel and often gruesome nature of the Kingdom Death world. I'm not quite going for Attack on Titan, and you can add more flesh tone or even yellow to lighten your skin tone to a healthy pink. Adding white will make the skin look very pale if that is the effect that you're after. I'll be painting one of the other starting survivors quite pale, so hang around the channel for a future video on that. I paint two or three thin coats to make sure the coverage is the way I want it, letting the black undercoat darken the recesses for me. Once these layers are dry, you can start playing. With the spread of red oxide to light flesh tone, pick a lighter hue of color and start painting in the details. Miniature models are quite small and we need to artificially boost the contrast between elements when we paint to make the details stand out. Rather than thinking of painting realistically, I like to think of painting believably. We do need to exaggerate contrasts, features and colors to make our models interesting which won't always be a realistic, but if I can make it believable, then I've achieved my goal. I keep painting contours, even muscle lines that weren't necessarily modeled into the miniature. This is called sculpting with paint or modeling with paint, adding volumes or details that aren't there with paint. Try to define all the contours and the volumes by painting them a lighter shade, leaving the red base color as the darkest part of your shadows.
returning to the model after it dried. I liked the contrast, but the believability suffered because I couldn't get the Attack on Titan image out of my mind. So I lightly glazed a mid-tone between the dark and the light flesh over parts of the model where I wanted to soften the contrast a little bit. I considered my light source, the lantern, early on in painting this miniature and decided that the lantern will be the only source of light for this model. Even though it would look quite dramatic and pretty cool to paint the rest of the model black and many painters have done so quite effectively, I did want to retain most of the features of the model. So I will insinuate quite a bit of ambient light around the character. That means a lot of light is going to come from, from outside of the miniature. This allows me to show off the great miniature while still going for a dramatic effect by painting in the lantern's glow later on. Again, from my red oxide and flesh tone palette, I choose a hue that is almost entirely flesh and I sketch out the highlights that the lantern will cause. Normally, this would be from above or would be placed all over your model. I do this sparingly across the model to create definition, but use it more heavily closer to the light source to anticipate painting the light source later on. I think this flesh tone came out pretty nicely and I've already laid the groundwork for introducing my light source later on. It is going to be a great addition to the dark and terrible world of Kingdom Death. I hope the fear of painting skin has evaporated for you. Leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. You can like and subscribe if you want to check out more of my videos in the future. You can follow me on Instagram or even support the channel through my Patreon campaign. Thanks for watching my video. This is Tian from Star 6 Minis, hoping you enjoy painting every mini.